and as long as breath is in our bodies, we'll continue to say, we know the man who can. His name is Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Over 2,000 years ago, in St. John's Gospel, chapter 19 and verse 30, he uttered these words, it is finished, meaning that he has paid the price in full and is able to supply all our needs according to his riches in glory. With those words, I welcome you to a time of refreshing. Of course, you know, each weekday, Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, we come to you from this studio. On Wednesdays, we come to you from the sanctuary. And we had a great time in the sanctuary and yesterday and on last night. You would have noticed I ministered both services. Yeah, I'm getting back on track to do what I love to do more than anything else, communicate the word of God. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for sharing. And may God's grace continually be ours. Well, we've got a great program lined up for you today as, uh, as at other times. I told you that the month of August will be very exciting and interesting because some of God's stalwarts, whom you have not seen on this platform, will be here during the month of August. And we have one such today, and I'll get to her in another two minutes. Just reminding you that you can find us on Flow Cable Network, channel 602 and 672, DigiPlay, channel 20. Facebook Live, YouTube Live, and I could see Facebook and YouTube, YouTubers and Facebookers, you are there in great number already. Find us also on pfmfamily.org. Please share the link, like, and subscribe. Let others participate in the blessing. May I welcome all the members of our churches whether you be from Grove Road, Goshen, Bogwalk, Atfield, Miramar, in Miramar, St. Petersburg, Brooklyn, Bronx, Toronto. I know there are those of you from within those areas, local congregation, who view us on a daily basis. Blessings to all the pastors and bishops and all the officers of our fellowship. Well, let me get with it because I'm not the presenter today. I would never try to present with a woman of this stature sitting beside me. Uh, she's going to bless your heart tremendously. I speak of Her Excellency. Yes, you heard me right. Her Excellency, Bishop, Doctor, Apostle, Prophetess, Juliet Fagan. You got it right? <laughs> and of course, she is leader of Vision Miracle Church of God Evangelistic Association here in Jamaica <coughs> and United States of America, Cayman Island. She's a very interesting lady because she has served in many capacities during her span of ministry and also secularly. A registered nurse former policewoman, served the Royal Cayman Police Force. You never knew I would say that. Oh my and God. among many other things, <laughs> she's also a clinical counselor, an author, and a preacher extraordinaire, one that is used of the Lord. Delighted to have her with me, and Bishop, Dr. Apostle uh, Juliet Fagan. I welcome you heartily. Uh, thanks for having me, Bishop. I'm Dr. Delford Davis. Thank you very much, sir. Great. It's good to have you here today. Yes, and it's such a great honor and, and privilege. And I'm almost to be here. sure you're going to purchase yourself a first class return ticket <laughs> in short order. <laughs> well, thank you, sir. Thank Praise you. the Lord. Well, to our viewers across Jamaica, across the world, I present to you Apostle Dr. Fagan, and she takes this from here, and later on we will do a little thing together. Over to you, Madam. Well, thank you, Your Honor. Praise God. I just want to say it's such a great honor and privilege to be here with all of you. Praise God. And you know, one of the things we like to do, we like to ask you to just hop off for a few seconds and just share, share in your groups, 
share with your friends, your family members, uh, your, your church members, praise God, and those of you on YouTube. And you know what you have also have to do, we always, we always like to ask you to make sure that you hit that notification button, that you never miss a broadcast by PFM family, or um, you never miss a broadcast on YouTube. So make sure that you subscribe and also hit the notification bell. And so we just want to thank God for all of you. Who's um, Barbara Fig? Is that your daughter or sister? Or um, Barbara, I'm not sure. <laughs> There's a lot of Fagans oh, out there. Yeah. We just want to remind you also that apart from Facebook, apart from Facebook and YouTube, uh, you can also catch PFM Family uh, on Flow Channel 602 and 672. And also you can um, get them on Digicel Play Channel 20. PFM Family is here for the family and throughout Jamaica and reaching the world globally and nationwide. So it's a great honor and privilege once again to have you. And I want to, want to say once again, thank you, um, Your Honor. I'm the Honorable Rebel um, Bishop Dr. Delford Davis and his wonderful wife. Um, you know, behind, a great, behind every great man is a wonderful and powerful woman. And we're talking about none other than co-pastor, Minister Travo, Travo, Petrova <laughs> Davis and the family. God bless you. Thank you. Uh, praise God. I'm going to be sharing um, with you a powerful word. And I know you're going to be blessed. We're going to be talking about the issues of life. You know, as we look around today in our society, we cannot d deny the fact that everybody's going through our face in some sort of issue. I want to send a big shout out to the man himself, um, Bishop uh, Dr. Leroy Fagan, yeah. and all of you wonderful brethren of Vision, Miracle, Church of God Evangelistic Association, wherever you are, globally, locally, internationally. I just want to say God bless all of you. Praise God. Uh, the scripture is going to be taken from the scripture is going to be taken from Mark chapter 5, Mark chapter 5, and I'm just going to be going through the Word of God. I'm going to stick to the Word of God because if there was ever a time uh, that we need the Word of God, it is now. We have enough other stuff out there. We have enough barbecues and fundraisers and all that kind of stuff. What we need to do is, um, you know, like um, Bishop um, Dr. Delford Davis and the team at PFM Family is doing and others are doing, we need to get back to basics. We need to get back and stay in the Word of God because, you know, there's a thin line out there now. You know, if you're not careful and if you're not a, a regular attender of your Bible studies and, you know, at church services, you can miss out on the Word of God if you're not an avid person in the Word of God because there is so much religions out there now that is presenting even some of the Word of God and mixing it. And if you're not careful you can be easily deceived. Amen. Mm -hmm. So once again, I want to thank you. Mark chapter 5, and I'm going to be starting at verses 24 and just sharing the word with you. Praise God. In Mark 5, 24, it says, And Jesus went with him. Much people followed him and thronged him. And in verse 25, it says, A certain, a certain woman. Let me just stop there for a second. Notice that there is no name called for this woman. Mm -hmm. There is no name called for this woman. The story of the woman with the issue of blood, you know, is, is really a larger story than just her alone. And I wonder sometimes why they didn't mention her name. But, you know, when, why they didn't mention her name is because also this that happened to this woman could happen to anybody, whether you're male or female. Because remember, God is a spirit. And they that worship him, worship him in the spirit and in truth. And so in God's sight, it is neither male nor female. So men are also facing issues. And women are facing issues. But I'm just going to deal now with this woman, with the issue of blood. So the Bible says, praise God, that a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years. So in other words, she had a flux. She was hemorrhaging, you know, as a nurse for so many years in the Cayman Islands. I know what it is to see hemorrhaging, you know, taking place because of different ailments and things that could happen to a woman. You understand? And so here was a woman suffering for 12 years. We're not talking about 12 weeks. We're not talking about 12 months. We're talking about 12 long years she was suffering with this. And in verse 26 of Mark 5, it says, and had suffered many things. 
by many physicians and had spent all she had and was nothing better, but she grew worse. Here was a woman who, and I just brought me some little uh, empty bottles here. Here was a woman who had tons of medication. She had much medication. Um, I have no doubt that she was drinking all kind of bush. I have no doubt that, um, you know, that, you know, they were oiling her up. They were praying over her and speaking in tongues. I'm just paraphrasing now, bringing it back to relevance. In her day and age, what would have happened if she was around? I, I, I mean, I, I could just imagine this woman. She went through so much. But she wanted to get it clear out there that she had been to many physicians. She wanted to make it clear that she had been to a lot of medical doctors. And I'm not bashing medical doctors. I'm alternative medicine. I'm a naturopathic doctor myself. And so I understand. But we're using the word of God. And we're going to bring it alive. That's what this program is all about, you know, um, times of refreshing. You know, because we want to refresh your memory. We want to bring you back to basics. And here it was, this woman, she got no better. All was happening to her is that she was getting worse and worse. And so in, in verse 27 of Mark 5, it says, when she had heard, that's why the gospel, the preaching of the gospel is so important. That's why, you know, people like me and, you know, the Honorable, um, you know, Bishop Dr. Delford Davis and others also, this is why there's a group of us who we don't stray too far from the Holy Bible. We don't stray too far from the Word of God. Because if there was ever a time that people need the preaching of the gospel, it is now. If there was ever a time that we need to talk about Jesus, it is now. Hear, hear, hear what happened to this woman. The Bible says in Mark um, to, um, chapter 5, verses 27, it says, but when she heard, now what would have happened if, if, there, if, there were, if she didn't heard that Jesus was in town? You know, she probably would have just died that situation. But she heard she heard that Jesus was in town, and so she made up in her mind that, you know, this is my day. You know, there comes a time in your life, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, when you have to make up your mind that enough is enough. This is my day. You know, I'm going to serve God. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give my life to God. I'm going I'm to trust God. I'm going to put my finances in the hands of God. I'm going to put this ailment in the hands of God. I'm going to put my children, my marriage, you know, the ministry, the business, everything in the hands of God. You know, she woke up and she said to herself, this is my day. And I'm not going to let anything or anyone stop me. And so the Bible says that she pressed behind until she touched the hem of his garments. Now, let me just share something with you. You know, we have what we call the talith. We have what we call the talith. And we know that even the priests back then, um, there were tassels at, on the hem of the garment. And they represented, they were very powerful. And so here it is, I have a talith. And um, on, on the end of the garments of Jesus, you know, were also something called the tzit in Jewish terms, the tzit. And um, this is really what she touched. And so when we have our talith and you have these, these tassels here, you must not take it light. This can't do anything for you. We see a lot of people running up and down with a shawl around their neck. Half of them don't even know what it's for. They just think that this shawl could give you power and anointing. That's not it. We just use this as symbolically to remind us of even this woman with the issue of blood. Because there is a blue string in the talith. There is a little blue string. And the blue string represents and reminds us of the virtue that flowed, that flowed from Jesus. The rest is all white purity. And this blue string reminds us of that virtue that left the body of Jesus. And so when we dawn the talith, when we dawn it, we must dawn it with reverence. We must dawn it with reverence and we respect the talith. You know, I respect this so much that I don't put this down any and anyhow. I hold this with reverence just like the Jewish people would do. And so here is this, this woman said, if I could just press behind and touch one of those tassels, if I could just touch just one of those tassels, then I know I shall be made whole. Guess what? She had to purpose in her heart long ago. She had to tell herself, she had to go to her bed that night telling herself, you know, tomorrow is going to be the last day that I'm suffering with this. Tomorrow it's going to be all over. You know, I, I, believe in, I believe in the God of Israel, the covenant God, that I'm going to get my healing. If I could just but touch them of his garments. There's a lot of you suffering with some issues. There's a lot of you that have some issues that you're bringing from way back over yonder. Some of you have gotten into some marriages and relationships and different things. Some of you are in some, even in the church. 
and you're still taking those issues, those behaviors, those attitudes, those, you know, those way of thinking, and, and, and you have not renewed your mind yet. Here it is, this woman made up in her mind. She said, if I just touch the hem of his garment, then I know without a shadow of a doubt that I'll be made whole. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. And so she came in from behind the press, and she did touch the hem of his garment. Do you understand? A lot of times people do not get their miracles because they do not believe. They have not purpose in their heart that this is the last time that I'm going to suffer from this situation. You know, it's not that miracles are not happening in our local churches. I'm quite sure that Dr. Delford could tell you about the amount of people that have been healed and have gone away and haven't even come back and testified. Even in our church, people have been, the blind eyes have been opened. You know, we have seen people get up out of wheelchairs and walk. We have seen people come in with crutches and walk. So we're not talking about gimmicks either. We're not talking about interviewing them behind in an office, behind in a room somewhere, and then they come out and see all this stuff. We're talking about the miraculous power of Almighty God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel the anointing in the studio. Praise the Lord. May the Lord continue to bless this man of God, this woman of God, this minister. Praise the Lord. You know, Dr. Davis is a man ever since I met him many, many years ago in the Cayman Islands while I was along with our the Honorable um, the Bishop Dr. Errol Blair and Dr. Alma Blair, my spiritual parents. Praise God. You know, while I was there, Bishop had came and he knew me from when I was a young minister in the gospel. He might not remember when I was upstairs there in um, Deliverance Center with Minister Joy and the different ones, praise the Lord. Glory be to God. And so he's a man that is not selfish, and this is what the kingdom is about. This man is a kingdom builder. You know, it's not about a church builder. It's about the kingdom of God, praise the Lord. And so here we see, praise God, this woman, she said, if I can just but touch the hem of his garments, if I could just touch one of those tassels, if I could just but touch one of those tassels, then I know I shall be made whole. And straightway, as soon as she pressed, I can, I can just imagine there were those that were trying to block her. Because in the sight of the Jews, ceremonial-wise, the law, she was not supposed to be in the crowd. She was not supposed to be out. She was not supposed to be mingling. Because whether you know it or not, and this is a revelation right here, she wasn't even supposed to touch Jesus as far as the Jewish law was concerned. As far as, far as their ceremonial laws was concerned, she wasn't even supposed to touch Jesus. And guess what? All of those that were rubbing against her while she was pressing her way through, if that was the case, they became unclean also by God. Hallelujah. They became unclean also, but she was not business with who was becoming unclean because of their mindset. She was determined that if they want to be unclean, if they want to count me out, that's their business. But if I can only but touch the hem of his garment, then I'm telling you I know without a shadow of a doubt that I will be made whole. The Bible says, praise God, because of her faith and her determination and her tenacity to press, praise God. The Bible says in verse 29 of Mark 5, and straight away the fountain of blood was dried up and she felt it in her body. Come on, somebody. You know, when, when Jesus touches you, you, you got to feel it. You know, you can't be telling me that you're saved. You can't be telling me that you're saved and, and you still behave in the same way. You can't be telling me you're saved and you're still living the same life. You can't be telling me you're saved, that you have received a touch from Jesus, praise God, through the Holy Spirit, and you're still acting the same way, attitudes and nasty attitudes and behavior and ill-manneredness and all those kind of things. I'm speaking as the Holy Spirit bids yes, me. Glory. Praise the Lord, glory be to God. You cannot tell me, praise God, that you're saved and, 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 and behave in the same way. This woman, when she touched the hem of the garments, when she touched those tassels, when she touched those tassels, praise God, something left. Something flowed down from the crown of Jesus' head. Hallelujah. Something flowed down from the crown of Jesus' head and went through, you know, his body and right straight down through the tassels. And that woman felt the power of Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm. She felt the power of God touching her. And right away, something hit her mm -hmm. inside of her. Something touched her womb. Something touched her. And right away, that blood stopped flowing immediately, the Bible says. Not a couple hours after, not a couple days after, but immediately she knew that she was healed. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Can I get some witnesses on? Come yeah. on, you got to testify. Come on, testify about the goodness of God. You know, I believe in miracles. I believe in miracles. Whoever wants to say it's done away with, that's their problem. But I believe in miracles, and I believe right now, even if your own hair 
praise God, and you've been suffering from some sort of ailment, whether it's your heart, whether it's your blood condition, whether it's migraine headaches, insomnia, sleeplessness, mm. whether it is some appetite situation, whether it's some blood pressure situation, diabetes situation, God can fix the pancreas, that it can it, um, secrete the right amount of insulin, God can clean up those arteries from sclerosis and hardening and allow your blood to flow freely. We come against, we come against, praise God, any ailment right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. If you believe that Jesus is alive and well and he's not dead and he's sitting at the right hand of God making intercession for you right now on this program, yes. you can be healed right there. You know, I believe, praise God, that some of you might just need to touch your phone faces. Some of you might need to touch the television. Yes. Like Billy Graham done in the old days when he was just on the radio, there was no television. And people would touch the radio. And people would touch and believe, Jesus. praise God, that point of contact. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. When we anoint people with oil, we, know, we tell people, and, and the Honorable Dr. Davis tells people also, that there is no power in the olive oil. We use it as a point of contact for you to lift your faith. And right now, there is somebody on here. There is somebody on here globally, internationally, locally, wherever you are. You can receive a miracle right now where your testimony will come in. And you will be able to testify mm -hmm. that I've just received a touch from the Lord. I believe in, in miracles, praise the Lord. I don't care what sickness it is. It could be cancer. Praise God, it could be an eye problem, an air problem, a joint problem. I don't care what it is, a colon problem. Praise God, I don't care what it is, burning stomach. I don't care what it is. Jesus is still in the healing business right away because of our faith. Praise God. Instantly, immediately, the Bible says, straight away, she received her miracle in her healing. Praise the Lord. And watch this. God knows, Jesus knows who is really touching him. Notice, I'm just coming with the word of God. Mm. Praise God. Jesus knows those that are really touching him. It's not everybody that comes to the altar really want Jesus. There's a lot of people, they want the blessings, but they don't want nothing to do with the blesser. Mm. But you've got to receive the blesser before you can get the blessings. Mm. You've got to stay with the blesser. You understand? Praise God. There's an erroneous doctrine out there that says, once saved, always saved. I want you to know that's the biggest lie that Satan could ever release on earth. That's a life from the pit of hell. Once saved, you've got to stay saved. Come on, somebody. You've got to make sure you stay saved. Don't be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Praise God. And so, you know, a lot of times people come to the altar, and you will find that there might be one person who is really touched by Jesus. You know why? Because that one person was the one who touched Jesus also. <laughs> Praise the Glory. Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh, my God. Somebody's getting a miracle right now. Somebody's receiving a miracle right now in the name of Jesus. Praise God. And Jesus immediately, watch this. She touched Jesus. Praise God. And Jesus, Jesus immediately, it was a big crowd. It was a mass crowd. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned, and he started to look around. Mm. But guess what? Jesus knew who, who touched him. But he wanted to, you remember, he was full of God and full of man. He was God incarnate, praise God. And so he knew who touched him, but he wanted to look around. He wanted to do what we would do as human beings. And so he began to look around and he asked the question. He said, who touched me? <laughs> but he knew who touched him. He knew exactly who touched him. He knew everybody that was there. How many of you know that God knows where you are? How many of you know that God knows your name right there? How many of you know that God knows exactly what you're facing and going through right now, this moment? Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He said, who touched me? And, and, and guess what? Watch, 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 watch what can happen when we are religious. Watch, watch, watch what can happen when you're just merely religious. Those apostles, those disciples that was around Jesus, they should have been able to discern that what Jesus was saying was spiritual and he knew exactly what was happening. But then, they, one of them, you know, they, they ask the question, you know, um, you, know um, you know, with all the people, and I'm going to paraphrase, yeah. you know, as if to say, you know, but, but um, Jesus, you know, with all these people that's here, you're going to ask who touched you. A lot of people were touching you, but Jesus knew that there was one person in that big crowd, mm. there was one person that touched him. Oh, my God, hallelujah. Glory be to God, hallelujah. And, you know, Jesus said, you know, in, in verses 33, 
you know, when, the, when, when Jesus asked who touched me, you know, the Bible says in verse 33 of Mark 5, he said, and, but the woman, you know, fearing after Jesus looked her straight in the eyes, Jesus turned around and zoomed in on her. He said, listen, guys, I'm finished with you guys. You just as blind as back. You round me and you don't have a clue what's going on. Because you're going to be saying, asking me in front of this big crowd, how can I be asking such a question? So Jesus just said, get behind me because you guys don't know what you're doing. That's why even, even us as Christians, even us as leaders sometimes, it's not everybody we got trod with us. It's not everybody we have to take along with us, praise God. Because sometimes people that you take along with you are the same people that will come to try to bring you down. You know, ask you know when you ask us a question, they're supposed to know that Jesus knew. You understand? And so Jesus, Jesus turned around and looked at her. And, you know, uh, who done this thing? Jesus looked around and said, you know, I'm passing through. I'm passing through. You mean to say only one person, only one person with this big crowd, only one person could get a miracle? Come on, somebody. Mm. Only one person could get a miracle? How many of you that is ready for a miracle right now? Come on, there are many of you watching right now on YouTube, Facebook, Local television here in Jamaica, yeah. you know, yes, on your, you know, the, in case you didn't hear me before, there's people watching on, ch on Flow Channel 602, there's people watching on, on, on Flow Channel 672, on Digicel Play. Um, this broadcast is going worldwide all over. Mm -hmm. And there are so many of you that the Holy Spirit is now right there hovering over you. Hovering over you, you can sense the presence of God. You can sense the anointing of God. You can sense that God is speaking in this pro on this program. Mm -hmm. But do you believe? Do you have the faith to believe that whatever you're believing for, you're saying that you're believing for, do you have the faith to believe that today, right now, this morning, this afternoon, depends on what time it is because there are people all over the world, different yes. time zones. Right now, do you believe that God is able? And that God is still in the healing business. Do you, I'm pointing my finger at you right there. Do you believe? Well, if you believe, you need to testify. You need to testify. You need not be ashamed. If it is blood pressure, say, I am believing God that I'm going to be healed of this blood pressure and I won't have to take all these medications anymore. If it is diabetes, whatever it is, call it by name. Yeah. That woman called it by name. She, she, she told herself that this situation that I'm going oh. through, I'm going to deal with this. Once and for all, if I could only just touch the hem of his garments, praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And so here we see, praise God, that when the woman saw, when the woman saw that, um, when the woman saw that Jesus was looking at her, the Bible says she became fearful and she started to tremble. You know why she was trembling? One of the reasons she was trembling, it wasn't because of the miracle. She was shocked also, but deep down inside, she went, with a, she went with that faith level. But she knew that she went in there, she was in that crowd unclean. Mm. She knew that she could have been stoned to death. So she was trembling because she didn't know that Jesus would have, would have what we would say, expose her publicly like that. You understand? Watch this. There's another revelation um, that I just received as I'm on the program right now. I just got this. I never had this before. Watch this. Jesus could have healed that woman quietly, silently. He could have healed her because he knew her faith and nobody but her and him would have known about it. Nobody else would have known about what had just happened to this woman. She could have slipped out and screeched through the crowd and head back home and start praising God in her house. But God, what Jesus wanted to show that, listen, you know, I come also to let you know that you're not going to keep people in bondage for too much longer because of your laws. Mm -hmm. Because of your law. Because I've come to redeem man back onto myself. I've come to set the captives free. I've come to heal those that are sick, those that are bent over, those that are bound. So I'm going to expose this woman today and let you all know that while you are looking at her as dirty, and while you are looking at her and feeling that she's unclean, I come to clean her up. I come to make her whole. I come to free her up. While a lot of you go, go with your unclean self and still go back doing what you're doing, I come to set her free. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And so the word of God says, 33 of uh, Mark 5, um, she, um, you know, that she was fearful and trembling, knowing what was done in her. You understand? She, she, was, she, was, she was just so overwhelmed. And she came down. And she fell down before him and told him all the truth. Watch this. She came in the crowd. She came pressing. 
not knowing if there was a stoner, because the whole community knew about her situation. How many times people do know about your situation and they hold it against you? How many times people do know how you were raised up? How many times people do know where you coming from, like me, who was molested when I was seven or eight years old, molested by another woman? Or what about me, who, who, who slept in old cars as a child growing up, ate from the garbage bins and, and, and scrubbed through garbage you know, when supermarkets would close. Who told, some, who told me that I would grow up to be a minister of the gospel and be able to influence and, influence and impact so many lives globally, locally, internationally? Who told me that? So you see, there's a lot of people that will still look at me or you or you or you and just say, oh, I know her. That's Mr. Boy, his granddaughter. That's Miss Hazel's granddaughter. They're still looking at the past. They're still looking at where I'm coming from. Now, that lady came in there trembling, the woman with the issue of blood. She came in there trembling. And guess what? When she started to tremble, it was a different kind of tremble. It was a reverential tremble. It was a thanksgiving, rejoicing, yeah. trembling, praise the Lord. How many of you know that when Jesus touches you, you touch Jesus? There is joy, there is excitement. There is tears sometimes running down. Sometimes you find yourself crying and you don't even know what you're crying for. Mm. You're just crying because of the goodness of God. You're just crying to say, Father God, Abba Father, praise God, you did it again. You've done it for me again. Praise the Lord. And so the Bible says, praise God, that, sorry, the Bible says, praise God, that she found her way. And she knelt down before Jesus. She knew that she was in a safe position now. Mm. She knew that she was uh, with the man, praise God, of Galilee. Praise God. She knew that she was with the way maker. Mm. Praise God. The problem solver, the healer, the bomb in Gilead. Praise the Lord. The Jehovah wow. Jireh. Oh, my God. She knew that she could have go up now. Praise God. She knew she was free. She knew that she was no longer unclean. Oh, hallelujah. I feel like somebody want to praise the Lord. I feel the anointing. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you for the miracles that is being wrought right now, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. My faith, hallelujah, is telling me that miracles are being wrought right now. People are believing, praise God. People are touching their television screens. People, praise God, hallelujah, are touching their phone faces, their tablets, their computers, and believe in God for miracles, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise. <clears throat> praise God. Just got a few more minutes. Praise God, and then I'll be handing over to the man of God, and we'll be just following the leading of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And so when she knelt down before him, praise God, you know, she told him exactly, but Jesus knew but she told them, you know, everything that she was going through all these years. And she had all her little pill bottles. She took them with her. She decided, I'm going to take this bag of stuff. And I'm going I'm to let him know, you know, that this is what I would take. I'm going to take that bush that they gave me. Um, you know, she probably ended up going to some little mother, mother too. And, you know, some little um, psychic and graveyard. And they, they probably give Because when you're desperate, mm. you will do desperate things when you're desperate. And I'm going to get there to that now before I come down. Praise the Lord. And so, you know, Jesus looked at her, and I, 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 Jesus was humorous, you know. You know, everybody thinks that Jesus was somebody to just have a piece of wood over your head and want to kill you, and that's, that's not the Jesus I'm talking about, praise God. You know, Jesus was humorous. Mm -hmm. When it was time for him to be, you know, angry and vexed, you know, he turned over tables and stuff, but he was a compassionate. He was a loving, caring, a smiling Jesus, praise God. Mm -hmm. And that's the Jesus we're presenting to you, praise God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And so he looked at her, and I, I have no doubt, I could just look at Jesus, just looking on and smiling. And just, just saying, daughter, you know, he didn't say woman. Yeah. It started off with a certain woman. That's what she was called, a certain woman. She was not called a daughter. <laughs> she wasn't called no daughter. She was called a certain woman. That's how they address her, a certain woman. And now Jesus said, I'm not going to call you a certain woman, but I'm going to say you're, 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 you're one of my children. Mm. You're one of my children. <laughs> you're my daughter. So he said, daughter, you know, he said, your faith. Old Testament would say, you know, the King James would say, thy faith. He said, your faith hath made you whole. You understand? He said, go in peace. You, you know, and I'm just going to paraphrase now. I'm a Caymanian, but I'm Martha, Jamaican, 37 years, <laughs> and got a little bit of the patois. So, you know, I, I, I am a radical for Jesus. That's the bishop know that too. 
I can just imagine if Jesus was around or Jesus was to hear me now. You know, just take your time and go along. Hey, you need your food. Enjoy yourselves. You understand? You, you broke it down. You understand? Jesus probably just said, listen, listen man, just, just go on home, go enjoy yourself. A long time you have suffer. Yeah. Long time you have suffer, my, my friend. Daughter, go on home. Oh, yeah. And, and eat some food You're and preaching. drink up your drinks and, and enjoy yourself. And, and, and let the community, if you want to put on a little get-together party, a long time you have suffer. Some of you have been suffering for a long time and today is your day. Mm. Today is your day. I'm looking in this camera, today is your day. You need to start rejoice. You need to believe that God is going to deal with your case and your situation once and for all. Somebody want to shout hallelujah. Somebody want to shout touch me again Jesus. Glory. Thank you Lord. Mm. Praise the Lord. And so Jesus said go in peace and be whole of the plague. Yeah. And so I'm going to stop right there. Praise God. Here it is. We all have issues. You know, my issue might, might not be your issue. But don't make nobody fool you. And don't make nobody, don't care what anointed and they're looking, how much pearls they have on and how much um, shawls they have on. Everybody have issues. We all have issues. My issue must not, might, might not be your issue. But we all have issues to deal with. And so right now, whatever your issue is, whatever your issue is, God is ready to deal with it for you. Let me, let me send you out with some points that I observed about the woman. I observed these about that woman. Number one, number one, she was desperate. <laughs> a lot of you just come into the altar and, and, and a lot of you want to wait till after church and screech one, screech up one side to Bishop or, or myself. And please pray for me. When we, when we tell you to come to the altar, why you never come? When the pastor say, come to the altar for prayer, why you don't get up out of your seat and come and you want to screech one side? Come on. There's a time when the anointing is flowing, like right now. You must seize the opportunity to tap in. You understand? Sometimes when you see us as preachers teaching and preaching like what I'm doing here now, after this anointing lift, it's not the same. Seize it now. Seize it now. Believe God now. Praise God. The first thing I noticed about this woman is that she was desperate. She was desperate. Yeah, man, she was desperate. She said, if I, she said, if I, if I just touch the hem of the garment, do you see? If I just get a chance to screech through the crowd and touch it, I know that I will be made whole. Number two, she remembered how she tried everything and everybody. Mm. She tried every pill that you could, every bush. She tried every oil, every God Almighty thing that you see happening today and what people are trying. That the woman are trying and more. She tried everything and nothing. All of her money done. She broke. She broke, and so she tried all human remedies to no avail. She spent all she had. She heard. That's what I want to drive home. She heard that Jesus was in town. I don't know how she hear. Must be the uproar of the crowd, because crowd make noise, you know. Crowd make noise, and I can just imagine the crowd that I pass her yard. And she must have peep out through that little window there, because she's unclean. She can't come out. She have to hide. She can't come up because them is corner and say, when you pull me, so now the one you pull me. But, but she made up her mind. She said, well, they're going to have to stone me today. They're going to have to kill me today. But I heard about a man called Jesus and that he's healing people. And she said, I, I don't know when he's going to come back this way again. I don't know if he'll ever pass back this way again. So I got to seize my opportunity. If I just not can touch the him and the man, the garment, I know that I will be made whole. And so she heard about Jesus. Not only that, she was determined to touch him. She planned her procedure. She planned it. Yes, brethren, she planned it. She knew how she was going to do it. You understand? She strategically put herself together and she planned it. And she said, listen, this is how I'm going to do it now. I'm going to start at the back. While they're oppressed, I'm oppressed too. I'm going to start somewhere with enough. Sometimes with enough. We have to wait and just move as the Holy Spirit moving and guiding and leading. Today we have so much havoc in the body of Christ. Because everybody see the Honorable Bishop Dr. Davis doing something and then feel so they can do this. They don't know the money. They don't know the stress, the sleepless nights. 
this man can't put down his head because he have to strategize and think out what next, how we going to do it, how we going to go. And so this woman planned, this program was planned long before Bishop Davis even planted a church. It was already in his spirit. The vision was there that one day he would be doing what he's doing. Oh, yeah. mm, glory to God. And so she planned the procedure. Not only that, she exercised her faith. Praise God. And instantly she was healed. And she knew that she was healed. Praise the Lord. Uh, praise God. I don't know if um, my good friend, my spar, <laughs> Bishop Davis, want to just come in and just... I have with you, here. Dr. Come Faber. on, guys. Just come on. Bring him, bring him in. Bring us in. <laughs> I am with you. I am with praise you. Praise God. Praise the Lord. I Hallelujah. Have been, I am and I will continue praise to God. be with you. Tremendous presentation. Yes, sir. What a word. You could see people on the Facebook and YouTube there. They're really having a, having a ball. Praise God. Join the word of God and making requests and all of that. Mm -hmm. This was really... A troubling time for this woman, like you have said. Yes, yes, Bishop. That's I mean, right. Twelve years of suffering. Yes. Uh, was uh, was very difficult for her. Yes, but yes. Thank yes. God, Amen. She became desperate, like you have what, said. What I, I want to ask you, I know you were jotting down a few things. What stuck yeah. with you? Yeah. What, 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 what stuck with you? Well, Are we doing it different now? We flow it. <laughs> re really, a, no, a number of things, you know, but most most outstanding. Yes, sir. Are the five points you gave here? Yes. Because one could develop these points. Oh, I mean, we, these we, are sermons right we, here. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> these she are sermons right here. became desperate. Yes. And when you become desperate, we, we, we say in Jamaica, maybe you heard it because yes. you married to a Jamaican <laughs> yeah. for 33 years. 37. 37 years. Yes, sir. On August the 6th, we celebrated our 37th So you're years. an independent woman. Yeah, independent woman. Yes, ah, you, did it, you did it right. You <laughs> My God Almighty. <laughs> yes, when you become desperate, yes, sir. in Jamaica we say a drowning man catches at a straw. <laughs> he thinks a straw could save him. So yes. if he sees a straw floating yes. and he's drowning, he's going to lay under yes, the straw. she was desperate. Oh, oh yeah. She, and a lot of people today are coming to our altars. Yeah. They are not desperate yeah, yeah, enough yeah, for yeah, a change. Yeah, yes, yes. When you are desperate enough for a change, God mm. can work for you. Mm. You remember... Faith is the substance of things hoped for. It is the evidence of things not seen. Yes. So that woman didn't see. She didn't see, but inside of her, she had faith. Of course. You know, she course. didn't see it with her physical eyes. But, you know, I'm quite sure, Bishop, that once one, one side of her were wrestling, maybe one side of her was saying, you know, what if they stone me? Mm -hmm. What if they kill me? But mm -hmm. there was another part of her mm -hmm. that was saying, go. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Mm -hmm. Believe. Believe that you're going to be healed. Believe it. Believe it. Yes. I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but, but you right there, yes, you. Believe God for that issue that you've been praying about and bawling about and crying about and talking to everybody about. Stop telling everybody on WhatsApp and social media. Stop telling everybody your business. Go to Jesus. Touch him. Touch yeah. Him. Desperate people will always, uh, a message I preached many years ago that Faith will always find a way. Oh, my God. Faith will never leave you stranded. Mm. You exercise your faith. It's going to bring you out mm. uh, because faith cannot fail you. Never. Yeah. So not only that she became desperate, like you've said, but in her mind, she saw herself right there standing in the midst of miracle, Jesus. And then she looked back at her years of suffering and said, this is my... Harriest moment. Come on, that's the word. That's from, right. That's, that, that's it. <laughs> yes. Come on. This is my moment of, for my miracle. Yes. And nothing is going to stop me. Nothing. No one is going to stop me. I will not she let. She was willing to risk it. I will not let me end me. <laughs> I love that. That's <laughs> a revelation right there. That's so oh, profound. Yes. I will not let me end me. Myself will not stand in the way. I'm going to put pride aside. I'm going to put everything wow, aside because, right oh my goodness, mm, and mm. look at what happened. 
because she was greatly challenged by the circumstances yeah, bro, around yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. They mean, all knew her. It would have been easy to give up and say, no, I can't bother with this. And you know something? Yeah. I can just imagine, I can just imagine to Bishop that timing is everything. Timing is everything. Yeah. Because watch this. Watch this. If she did not press the way that she pressed, mm -hmm. Jesus would have walked away yeah. and went. Because while he was there and while he was getting ready to walk away, a certain man, mm -hmm. daughter, yes, yes, <laughs> had I mean, just died. Yes. So if that woman had just waited a few more seconds, she would have lost her miracle. Oh, my goodness. Jesus, have mercy. Help me today. Yes, yes. Come on, think about it. That's why you must not linger or wait. Because, mm -hmm. Bishop, think about it, you know, I can just imagine Jesus was getting ready now to move on. What a revelation. Talk to me, Bishop. You know, oh, doc, talk, talk to me. You having said that, the, the verse from Isaiah comes to mind. Seek ye the Lord while he may be One. found. Exactly. Call upon him while he is near. He could have been found by her at that particular time. He was near to her at that particular time. But she had to seize. Uh, and if she had allowed her to pass her by... You never could tell. Can I say this? Some years yes. ago, I heard a gentleman say, not a gentleman, Bishop Dr. V.T. Williams, yeah, my so spiritual yeah, father. Words, yeah. Yeah, Papa v. T. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He yes. says, opportunity is like a bald-headed man with a huge a, a plot in the middle. Mm -hmm. And whenever you see that's coming, make sure you catch a hold of it because if you allow it to pass you by, you ain't getting it again. Oh, my so God. that woman, she said, this is my moment. And like you have said, Dr. Fagan, there are many persons, over a thousand. Right now, right now. I'm seeing 1,081 comments on Facebook. Wow. 1,081 on Facebook alone. I want to thank all yeah. of you guys. <laughs> I know that there's a lot of you from my page also, yeah. and yeah. Um, Bishop Parker to God page. And this is what collaboration does. This is what unity does. Um, so I want to encourage you to, um, to, to hit the link for PFM family. Get on board. If you're a part of my team, part of Vision America Church of God, get there, get on board. You know, if, you're, if you need to like Vision America Church of God, you know, like I like can follow my page, get on board, because it's about the kingdom. Yes. And this is what we're seeing happening here today, man of God. Your miracle will silence your enemies, what? says uh, <laughs> Sister Florence Dong. She's in U, uh, St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Island. Wow. Your miracle will silence the enemy. Are we going to do um, Shut them. The We're going to open the line at this time, Dr. Fager, and some persons may want to call in. Right. So make a call. Make your personal prayer request. The numbers will appear on the screen momentarily. Praise whilst God. you prepare to do so, there they are, 876-988-6262. 876 Praise Make God. a call and... Amen. T tell us how you, you have been impacted by the word today. Praise God. Make a prayer request, a word of testimony, because I believe many of you got yes, miracles. Yes, there's a lot of testimonies oh, coming Oh, yes, in. instantaneous miracles out there you could Praise share God. with us. But we'd love to take your prayer request like we do on this program so we can pray over them in a Praise personal God. way. Yes, and all Praise of God. you on YouTube, Facebook, and all the other platforms, we will be praying. Within the next 10, 12 minutes, we're yes. about. Seize the opportunity. Seize God the for opportunity. Super miracle. Praise God. Don't forget uh, the what? number. Don't forget the number to call is 876. Um, any of these is WhatsApp? Yeah, well, uh, no, we've got a text line on the. On, okay, on, we have on a caller on, um, you know, Nadine. Nadine from Kingston. From Kingston. Welcome, Nadine. Yes, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Bless you. Yes, I want to thank you for the word this afternoon. Because I'm. Going through the same issues right now, and I'm just giving God the glory, claiming my miracles in Jesus' name. Praise, Praise the Lord. Yeah, what you want us to pray about specifically, Nadine? Oh, I'm going through the fibroid issues to okay. the beginning wow. every day. Yes. Okay. So I'm really thanking God for His word today. God bless you. All right, yes. God be praised. We'll be praying for you. Yes. Okay. Yes, one of Thank one of one of the one of the um, symptoms. Of Thank you, you for calling. Bless you. Thank yeah, you very much. One of the symptoms of fibroids is um, menorrhagia. Uh, menorrhagia is that heavy bleeding, constant mm -hmm. bleeding. So mm -hmm. believe God for your miracle. Yeah. yeah. Praise the Lord. All right. Uh, Director Vassal is asking us to pray for Sandra. All right. We'll remember yes. Sandra. Praise God. Norma Blake. 
Thanks for sharing, Reverend Speaker. God bless Oka. Praise God. Yes. With Kevin, Verna Johnson. Let's pray for Kevin. Praise yeah. the Lord. Glory be to God. Yeah. Praise God. Veronica Williams say, thank you, Bishop Davis. Amen. You are not selfish. Oh, yeah, no. I it. <laughs> this is Kingdom platform. The Lord, the Lord spoke to me and told me that from this platform, many pastors will yes. feed the sheep. But the Lord revealed it to me doing. while I'm here. Let's Praise take God. Carol from Portmore. Carol. Welcome, Carol. Are you there? Yeah, oh, yes, good, good day, good day. Good day. Yes, I sit here in front. I've been watching the program from it started. And, it, I mean, it's really reaching out to me because talking about issues. Yes. Mine is not a um, physical issue, but it has to do with a son. Who, you know, I've not seen him in a while, and his mind is not too good. Okay. And I've not seen him for this, and I've been going through this issue for years, okay. you know. Yes. And I'm, I'm a Christian, though, and I was in that whole faith fasting yesterday, okay. and message from Pastor about not to worry. Praise God. All right, we we'll thank pray God for, for you, you. Son. We thank my God son's, for you. My son's name is Lavon Foster. Lavon. Okay. Yes. God bless you. God bless you. All God right. bless Praise you too. Lord. Lord Thank to you. God. God bless you. We'll pray for you. Praise God. All right. Sister Bev from Bristol in the United Kingdom will be praying for you. Well, let's take we this call Faye from Faye. calling from New Jersey. Yes. Go welcome. ahead, Faye. Okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you for refreshment. Yes. I'm calling. Please, of course. For me, because I have cancer. Okay. In a way, suffer loss. Okay. Where's Where's the cancer located? In a way, suffer loss. In, in the near esophagus. To, near to the stomach. No, man, in your throat. In your mm -hmm. your your esophagus. That's your yeah. throat. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. Bishop, could I just take a moment? Go right. Heavenly ahead. Father, yeah. Almighty God, right now in the name of Jesus, oh God, in yes. the name of Yeshua, Father, Lord, we pray right now in the name of Jesus that all of these yes, prayer requests Lord. that have come in. We believe, oh God, that you're still in the miracle working business, yeah, Father God. Lord. Father God, you are still, oh God, the God that hears and answers prayers, oh God. And Lord, right now you're still, oh God, Jehovah Rapha, oh God, the Lord mm. that heals, as stated in Exodus 15, 26, Lord. Jesus. Lord, you're still in the healing business, oh God. Shabbat Lord, we know, oh God, that you're still Jehovah M. Kadesh, oh God, the Lord that sanctifies, Father. And Lord, help your people, oh God, to touch and yeah, believe Jesus. right now. In the name of Jesus, for miracles, oh God, in Jesus' name, may they go in faith believing like this woman with Israel blood. Amen. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Hold faith and believe Thank God. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. All right, numbers are still appearing. We go to a Virgin Island, St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Island. Hi, yes. Sister Florence, how are yes, you? Yes, yes. Praise I'm God. God fine, bless I'm you. I'm fine. Great right. program today. Also, good afternoon to the speaker on today. Uh, my soul was richly blessed. I'm calling for prayer today for the Virgin Island, yes. especially St. Thomas, where I live. Yes. Um, the COVID, the COVID has yes. numbers had rise tremendously, yes. and we are just 32 um, square miles, yes. and so the governor has called an emergency stay at home. Yeah. order for us. Okay, we will we'll be Monday. doing that. We'll be doing that for you. Can Please you hear me? Yes, yes we, we, we will be doing that for you. Due to time, we will be doing that for you, ma'am. We will be praying and joining you all in prayer. Praise the Lord. All right, thank you. Yes. Just stay connected. People for another few minutes. And oh, God bless. God bless you now. Take care. Sister. I also want us to remember the Cayman Islands. Yes. Um, it's going through some challenges over there. In many ways, but we will continue to lift up Grand Cayman, Cayman Brack, and Little Cayman. Yeah. And we continue to lift up Jamaica also and our leaders. Of course. And of you course. know, the election uh, is coming on and different oh, things. So yes. we've got to remember to pray for them. Yes. You know, that you, the Lord would have his will. You his international way. brothers and sisters, we pray for you. You pray for us. Yes. Jamaica is now in elec electioneering, <laughs> campaigning, <laughs> and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> yes. And you know, elements are always around. Michelle, calling from Port Moria. Yeah, time is running down, Go guys. Go ahead, Michelle. Go ahead, Michelle. Yes, um, good afternoon. I was richly blessed. Thank, Thank you, me. God, for that message about the woman with the issue of blood. You know, I've been traveling with this sickness, um, this dizziness, from about from April. Okay. And it has not been leaving me. 
But, you know, I'm seeking God, and I'm still searching and finding, you know, just to find that, that touch that you talk about, that touch for going towards for that healing. Well, I want, to say to you, I want to say to you, Michelle, as you're listening, right now, you know, I want you to say it, I, I, you know, right now, if you right now. can just believe right now, just say, I am healed. I am healed right now. Believe God. Believe God to, 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 to heal you right now. Right now, today. Mm. Write it down in your Bible. Write down, I am healed. I got a miracle on the 13th of August, 2020. And you're going to get Hallelujah. back to the Glory, Glory to God. Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we come against Jesus. this and this. Glory. Mm. Wonderful. Praise Thank God. You, Celebrate Jesus. it, my Thank sister. You. Pastor from Atlanta, the Lord bless you. Good to have you. Uh, Prudence from Portmore. Welcome, Prudence. Good afternoon, Bishop and Reverend Fagan. God, God bless, bless you both. Yes. I'm just calling for prayer for my eye. Yeah. I woke up this morning with my right eye swollen. Yes. So I'm just asking you for prayer. Okay. Nate, okay, Sister We're going to continue prayer even offline, right, Bishop? Of course. Yes, of course. Bishop is writing down all of the names. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Yes, God bless you. Bless okay, Bishop. You. Bless you. Great. We can take another three calls, three more calls, and then we're going to wind up in prayer. Yes. Whilst you're making those calls, we really appreciate all of you. And I took some names down. Bev Brown from Bristol in UK. Peggy from Indianapolis. We saw your request. Well, let's go to Montego Bay. Montego Bay. Are you there? Is that six? Cecile. Hello. Cecile from Montego Go ahead, just speak up a little louder yes, for us. Yes, I'm yeah. calling from Montego Bay. My soul was richly blessed. Thank you. And I believe that God is in the miracle business. Amen. I'm definitely calling this afternoon on the behalf of my uncle, Vaughan Clark. He had a daughter that was that died in Cayman Island nearly a year now. Yes. And we don't hear anything about it and he's really not taking it. Good and I'm asking for prayer for him yes. that the lord will really give him strength yes. to deal with the situation because okay. it was his one child okay okay we'll, so we will definitely remember for prayer you for him. Him. we'll definitely remember you in prayer oh, okay thank, thank you thank you so much for calling god bless you thank you Bishop. appreciate thank it you. two more calls and we are going to pray amen come god on is guys good. call god seize the good. opportunity like the woman oh, with the yeah. issue of blood <laughs> Pray for me, Bishop Elizabeth Green. Yes, we will pray. Doreen Roden, Elizabeth. out there in Cayman. Praise God. God bless you, Sister Roden. Always on. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Well, wonderful. I was watching your your aircraft coming in this morning. Cayman Airways. <laughs> <laughs> Praise uh, the Lord. Beautiful. But Bishop, you know, before we pray and uh, yes. we go any further, I personally just want to say um, I thank you very much. Yes for having me one more time. You know, I've always been yeah. on the programs, but, you know, because of the problem. We have a Monica calling from Golden Acres. Go ahead, Monica. This is the last call. Welcome. Thank you, Rev, for your words today. My soul has been blessed. Yes. Yes, I just want to say thank God. I called some weeks ago asking for prayer for my son who was finish up, finishing up his degree. Yes. Thank God he has finished and got a new job immediately. Praise God. Bless God. And he's just looking for somewhere now to live because he's going to move to a new state to work. So he needs a place to live. Okay. God Maybe bless you. We've got a Sister Francis. Praise uh, report. Thank members. you, Sister Monica. God bless you. Sister Francis, you just made it. Go ahead. Hello. Yes. Hi, Sister Francis. Yes. Go ahead. Lord bless you, Mom. I'm glad to hear you today. He's with my bishop. Yes. I am so glad to hear you today, yes. mighty woman of God. Yes, ma'am. And I give you, I give thanks, and I give thanks to my bishop. Yes. Oh, God, my bishop, my bishop. Yes. I thank you know God what's happening to her now? She <laughs> used to attend our church in Cayman, remember? Remember, yes. Sister Joan yes, and Sister Francis, it's our church oh, they attended all yes. the while in Cayman. And, you know, the, the love and the teachings and everything. So now today she see her two bishops. <laughs> so yes. she's gonna cry now. Don't worry, oh Christ God, is a friend. I thank God for my bishop. Yes. I don't know where he brought me from that I could come in Cayman and join you. I know the devil want to I know, him, Sister but Francis. the devil is a his new you. revelation, God is going to bring him out for a time like this. Okay. I thank God for him, and I thank God for you, 
Bishop Fagan. May God yes. bless you. Please pray for me. We love you, you too. God bless you. You see, this is why, Bishop, Wonderful. we have to, we have to live you. this life Thank and you. be respectful. And, you know, young, young aspiring preachers out there, you know, always remember to remember those that sowed into you. Remember those that laid hands on you. I never stop talking about yeah. the Honorable Bishop Dr. Errol Blair and Dr. Alma Blair, um, Pastor Steve Blair. I never stop calling their names. Pastor Mitchell, my former bishop in the Cayman Islands. Um, and, um, you know, Dr. Um, bishop Dr. Philip Finn, who has really, really been a source of strength and blessing to me and Bishop Leroy over the years in our studies and many others. Great I'm, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. And Bishop, of as course. I was saying, I, I just want to say, I thank you very much, sir, for giving me this opportunity. I'm humbled. Well, I thank you for taking the time out yes, to be sir. here to share God's word. Uh, I did say the Lord spoke to me concerning this particular yeah, that's, program. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. And I use a phrase from time to time. It is, uh, many pastors, whether they be apostle, prophet, yeah, evangelist, that's right. Deacon, yes. elder, bishop, no. title You're or a no kingdom title, builder. You're a kingdom that's builder. It. They must, from this pulpit, this platform, feed God's sheep the from word. the huge pastor. And that's the huge the part word of God. You have there. The word of God. That's Genesis all you 1 want. to Revelation 22 21. Cannot exhaust it. It, it, it. It's life. It generates its own life. Yes. It, oh, praise God. And you notice today, I was just, I didn't even bring no notes. I didn't write anything. I just said, Lord, help me. I'm going right with the word. I'm going to stay with the word. And God moved here today. And I pronounce a blessing. And I want to say to those of you out there, you know, if the Lord lays it on your heart and you want to sow a seed, um, this is good soil. I sow into this ministry also from time to time. Mm -hmm. I plant into this ministry. And I, 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 I just want to say this man of God has been a blessing to us. There was a time when our tent was destroyed a couple of years ago. And nobody came to our rescue but the same most honorable Dr. Bishop Amen. Delford Davis. I'm prophesying to you, you know. Yes, yes. I'm prophesying to you. Amen. Glory you, be to God. You'll be surprised to know Praise Dr. God. Fagan. And when. you, you was the only one, Bishop. That you took up, I don't have to say how much, but you wrote a check and you called me and you <laughs> quarreled with me. Yeah. And you said, oh my God, my daughter, my friend, my sister, why you didn't call me? And I said, Bishop, I didn't want to be a burden to no one. And you said, no, go to the office. I'm cutting a check because you're preaching the word of God, you and Bishop Leroy. Yes, yes, and yes. I, I want to be a blessing that you can get some shelter over your no, people. But why did you say that? You, you did it, you it. did it. No, I have to say it. It's better I say so. I have to say it oh, because sometimes people, you, sometimes people forget what people do for them. Yes. And then after they get on their foot, mm -hmm. they, they turn their backs on people, not me. Until wow. the day I dare to talk about Bishop Davis. How much did you enjoy that <laughs> Caymanian Jamaican <laughs> <Everything> accent? <laughs> <laughs> it's just wonderful. It's mm -hmm. wonderful. You know, I we have members in hospitals from time yes, to time. Yes, and all watching, that. This morning early, I was at the university hospital. Yes, different yes. reasons. Yes, sir. And a particular professor, I'll leave him nameless. Yes, yes. I never knew he he he, he watched it. Oh, praise God. And Doctor Fagan, when I got through talking, the professor said to me, "Okay, Bishop." I look, I'll see you on t television and I'll listen to you on radio later. Mm -hmm. I said, my goodness, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> yes, so yes. people from all strata of society are being fed by the church yes, because right. everybody needs the ministry yes. of the church. And that's why we got to preach Jesus. Yes. You know, that's why we got to preach Jesus. Well, we God, don't need to be coming with all these other little the stuff. Glory. You know, so prayer time, Dr. Fagan. Yes. We have gone. these persons whose name we took and there are many who are there still on the networks. We are yes. going to pray for them. So get ready now. YouTube, Facebook, uh, Flow, Digicel, PFM family, get ready for prayer. Uh, Bev Brown in Bristol, we pray for you. Peggy, and we'll pray for you in Indianapolis. Yes. Jasmine, we'll pray for you in Connecticut. Audrey Millington, we saw your request. Verna Johnson, uh, Nadine, Carol, Faye, Sister Florence from U.S. Virgin, St. Thomas, Michelle, 
Prudence, whose eyes given her a little problem. We're going to pray for you, Sister Prudence Cecile from Mobe. We pray that God will touch your father. I know he Amen. must be hurting very much at the passing of his only child, uh, Elizabeth Green, Monica. That praise report, we give God thanks. Carmen, Sister Francis, all of you, we look to God in prayer for you right now. It's prayer time. Praise God. Dr. Fagan, I want you to just raise your hand like I raised my hand yes, to the people. And we believe God that he will, by his Holy Spirit, minister even more. Amen. And over and over again, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, Lord. We remember when Moses' hands were raised, yes. Israel prevailed. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, we raise our hands to you. And as your people reach out by faith, touching the helm of your garment, Amen. we pray for them all across Jamaica, across the Caribbean, across the world, Amen. that the mighty power of God will overshadow them Hallelujah. right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, In the Lord. name of Jesus, we declare victory yes. for every person with whom we are connected right yes, now. In the name and of those Jesus. that are connected to Hallelujah. them, for whom they are believing you for miracles, yes, Lord. we ask in Jesus' name that you do it for them. Yes, do it. By the authority of Hallelujah. Jesus Christ, we take that authority and we bind the, the principalities and powers. In the Satan, the Jesus. blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus Christ is against you. you. Take your filthy hands of God's property. You are a trespasser Jesus. and we rebuke you. We evict you now in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah. from that person's body. In Give Jesus. them the miracle. And Father God, we pray Hallelujah. for our sisters in the hospital right yes, now. Right those who will be doing Jesus. surgery today and tomorrow. Yes. Father, you know them by know name. The issues, in the name of know Jesus the issues, Christ. Not all hospital. We pray for a miracle. Throw right the hospital the right now Jesus. in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, God, let Hallelujah. your presence make the difference. And Father Jesus. God, in all of the hospitals, let the mighty power of God flow through and touch the sick and raise them up in homes, in infirmaries, yes. on the street, wherever at the airport right, right now, now, wherever they are. Them, Lord. You know we where speak they are. victory for God's people. Jesus. And Lord God, even there in Andrew's oh, hospital, Yes. One of our members are there right now in Andrews. Hallelujah. You know Touch. the name. You know the Touch bed. Right you know now. the ward. You know everything that will be done. Father, we Hallelujah. claim the miracle for her now. Jesus. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Because you are Amen. still the Alpha. Glory to God. You are still the Alpha and the Omega. Hey, Lord. You are still Emmanuel. Yes, Lord. God with us. Thank you, Lord. The King of Kings. Thank the you, Light Lord. of the World. Bright and morning star, and you're Amen. the peace of peace. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much for sharing with us today on the Thursday's edition of a time of refreshing. Thanks to Bishop Dr. Juliet Fagan, Her Excellency Apostle Dr. Fagan. We bless the Lord for her and continue to pray for her ministry. Support her in all the ways that you can. Your presence and your potatoes. Stand by this woman of God. God will bless you. You can worship with us on Sundays. We meet at 7 a.m. and 9.45 a.m. We have reconvened our Sunday evening, Wednesday evening, and Friday evening services. Join us at 7 o'clock. And those of you who were with me on last night, you see how special it is indeed. We look forward to you being with us. Uh, water baptism comes up on the 29th of August. Uh, at, the, at the ocean, candidates are being prepared. We ask that only two persons to, to uh, accompany each candidate to the water baptism. But on the night of the 28th, Friday, you'll be in church so we can go through most of the formalities. Where are your churches in Jamaica, ma'am? You want them to visit yes, you? Yes, um, we are located, praise God, um, Vision America Church of God. We're located yeah. in Lot 4, 70th Entry, right off of the road and on a Sunday morning we start with the war room at 9 30 a.m. going into the word praise God and on a Wednesday at 9 30 a.m. is our prayer fasting and deliverance service there in Portmore lot 470 in tree greater um, Portmore down there in Evans Meadows where Bishop Dr. Leroy Fagan and the team is there in Evans Meadows right down there near 
the cemetery in um, Dembe in Maypen on a Sunday morning, 8 a.m., praise God, and on a Tuesday night at 6.30 p.m. Thanks. There um, you have it. Go by and be blessed. Until tomorrow, the Lord tires, Friday's edition. We hope to be here with you again in the will of the Lord. Until then, thanks to the studio manager and the members of his team. Amen. Thanks to everybody who make it possible. God be with you. God bless we you. close with the Lord's prayer. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. 23rd yes, God, Psalm. Bless oh, yeah. Yes, the Lord is my shepherd, I, I shall not, not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. God bless you. Have a good afternoon. I can't take a heart that's broken, make it Take a soul the sin stain, wash you white as snow, but I.